Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and today I will teach you how to rig and animate a clock in Blender. I will teach you how to make uh, four different types of uh, clock animations, both the ticking hand, the sweeping hand, the 8 bits per second mechanical clock type animation, and a uh, time lapse as well at the end. As always, it's going to be uh, quick and easy. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so here we have a clock. And if you don't already have one in Blender, I will provide links to both free and paid clocks in the links in the description. Okay, so let's go into edit mode to separate the hands. So press Alt A to deselect everything. Then select one of the hands. Then press Control L. And then P to separate by selection. And then let's select the second hand, and control L, then P, and separate by selection. And then let's select the minute hand, control L, then P, and then separate by selection. And by separating the hands, we will be able to animate the hands. So let's go back to uh, object mode. And when you press R, then Y, to rotate on the Y axis, you can see that we need to move the origin point of the hands. So uh, let's go back to edit mode for the clock, and then go to wireframe view, and numpad 1 to go to front view, and then let's select the middle of the uh, clock, where all of the hands are connected. So hold and shift, to select multiple faces and uh, then let's move the uh, 3D cursor to those selected faces so press shift S and then cursor to select it and uh, then we can go back to object mode and then select the hand and then we need to move the origin to the 3D cursor so we'll go to set origin and then origin to cursor and then do the same for uh, the other hands set origin and then origin to uh, 3d cursor and as you can see when we press r and then y they rotate around the middle and the same for the second hand and then we can do the same for the minute hand and as you can see it works so let's save before we continue, save as, give it a name, and you can save the file wherever you want on the computer. Okay, so uh, before we're going to animate these hands, we need to set the rotation to zero on the y-axis, which means that it's going to be uh, 12 o'clock. So uh, let's go into wireframe, press R, then Y. Then do the same for the hours hand, and then the same for the minute hand. Then hold in shift and select all of the hands, then press Ctrl A, and apply the rotation, so that the Y rotation is set to 0 degrees when it's uh, 12 o'clock. I might need to adjust the uh, rotation slightly. Uh, then once again I can select them all and apply the rotation okay so uh, let's start animating the second hand and to be able to animate the second hand we first need to keyframe the uh, first frame so uh, press I to keyframe the rotation and then we need to move uh, 30 frames forward so that we move uh, one second forward. And then let's go to the calculator to calculate how many degrees we need to rotate the second hand each second. So uh, 360 divided by 60 seconds is uh, 6 degrees. So we need to rotate the second hand 6 degrees each uh, second. Okay. Let's set it to 6 for frame 31 
and then press I to keyframe. And then we can go to uh, frame 61, just uh, type plus 30. And then go to uh, 12 degrees and press I to keyframe once again. And uh, then we can go into the graph editor. So let's drag to add another window. And then go to the graph editor. And uh, then we need to select the uh, Y rotation. And uh, go into the modifiers and add a uh, cycles modifier. And by selecting repeat with offsets, the animation will continue forever. So uh, let's uh, set the animation type to uh, constant. And as you can see, it works. So for each 30 frames, it uh, moves 6 degrees on the y-axis. If you want a uh, sweeping hand for the second hand, you can uh, set the animation type to linear, so press T, then set the keyframe interpolation to linear. As you can see, the second hand is now sweeping. Okay, so before we start animating the minute hand and hours hand, let's save. So go to File, Save As, click on the plus sign, and then Save. Okay, so before we set up the drivers, let's uh, change the names. So let's set this one to seconds, and then the minute hand to uh, minutes. And then the hours hand to hours. Okay. And then we can select the minute hand and right click and add driver for the rotation. And then var divided by uh, 60 because there's uh, 60 seconds in one minute. And then set it to the y rotation. And as you can see, the uh, driver works. So now we can add the same type of driver for the hour hand as well. So uh, let's select the hour hand and then right click on the Y rotation and add a uh, driver. And then let's set the expression to var divided by 12. and uh, then set the object to minutes. And then let's set it to the Y rotation. And by going into the output settings and setting the new value to one, we can speed up the animation 100 times, which uh, gives us a time lapse. And uh, let's move a few frames forward. And as you can see, the hour hand works as well. Okay, so now we have everything set up. So uh, now I'm going to show you how to make the mechanical clock animation type. So uh, let's uh, set the new value back to 100 so that it's uh, in real time. And then I'm going to select the second hand and then delete the uh, keyframes. And then I'm going to save before I continue. Save as, click on the plus sign, and then save. Okay, so let's start off by keyframing the rotation. So press I to keyframe. And then let's set the frame rate to uh, 24 FPS because we're going to divide it by eight. So let's go to the calculator and type in 24 divided by 8, which is 3. So we need to uh, add a keyframe for each uh, third frame. And then divide 6, which is the uh, number of degrees, by 8, which means that we need to rotate the uh, second hand 0 0.75 degrees 
every third frame. So uh, let's go to frame three and then add 0 0.75 to the y-axis and then keyframe. Press I to keyframe. And then let's move three frames forward, so to frame six. And then add 0 0.75. And then press I to keyframe once again. Okay, and then we can use the cycles modifier. So let's select the uh, Y rotation. And in the cycles modifier, add repeat with offset. And then press T and make sure it's set to a constant. And when we play the animation, you see that we have the mechanical movement. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching.